place. Wow. I just love every each word from this lyric, Shafika. Yes, me too. I believe it's about love. All you need is love. And that love goes to our next generation, for my children and our future generations. I believe so as well. Yes. TV KPM Hi, Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. You're watching Didik TV KPM for our slot Menengah Rendah. And today with me, Shafika Farahin, we are going to be learning Bahasa Inggeris for Form 1 pupils. But before we get started, let's first take a look at the teacher's profile. You can see just now our teacher is none other than Madam Faraliza. But before that, let's first introduce our sign language interpreter, who is none other as well than teacher Norziana Yuf from SMK Dato Ibrahim Yaakob, Kuala Lumpur. Hi, teacher Norziana. How are you? All right, doing great. And of course, with me here in the studio, our teacher for today, who is Madam Faraliza. Hi, teacher. Hi, Shavika. How, How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing good. How about you? Uh, we're doing good as well here. And I'm sure we are because we just had a heel of heart song just now. Exactly. Mm, and we'll be talking more about that song. But before that, let's introduce our pupils as well, who will be joining us from Madam Faraliza School as well, SMK Chiku Dua Gua Musang Kelantan. Hi, pupils. How are you? All Hi. right. Hi. Hi. All right, Madam Faraliza. Can we perhaps introduce them one by one, please? All right. Hello, guys, girls and boys, viewers out there. Now, together with me today, I'm bringing you my beautiful pupils from SM Kichi Kudua, Gua Musang Kelantan. And we have the first one, uh, Muhammad Faris Hilmant in the house. Hi, Hi Faris. Hi, Faris. Okay. All right. All right. Now, the second one, we have um, Muhammad Hafiz uh, bin Saruddin. Hi, Hafiz. Hi, Hafiz. Hello. Welcome. Hi, Hafiz. All right. Now, the third one in the house, we have... Uh, we have Amira. We have Amira. Yes, Amira. Hi, Amira. Hi, Amira. Hi, Madam. Hi. And last, and one, last one, at least, we have Shamia. Shamia. Hi, Hi. Shamia. All right. Okay. The pupils are looking great today, as are you. So, teacher, perhaps we can get on to the topic for today. What is our topic, teacher? Exactly. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shafika. So, girls and boys, viewers out there, let us get started. Now, we are going to. Um, Touch on literature in action from Unit 4. So please kindly open up your textbook, turn to page 42. Mm -hmm. And we are going to focus on life on Earth. Yep. And girls and boys, viewers out there, we are going to make sure by the end of the lesson today, Shafika, yes. our pupils back here will be able to respond and interpret a variety of literary text type mm -hmm. yeah so interpretation is very important when it comes to literature in action now secondly is they will be able to relate the ideas conveyed from the poems or song lyrics that we're about to explore today mm -hmm. by using the idea generator right. stay tuned okay right? okay so the next one let's just watch the screen and try to digest every bit of it now for literature in action so basically shafika mm -hmm. um, this is like another element to appreciate the language right right so teachers out there especially all language teachers we need to make sure that pupils need to improve uh, their communication skills when it comes to giving response um, be it novel, short story, movie, mm -hmm. just name it. All right. Yeah. The second one is for the pupils to be able to um, cultivate their own wisdom. And this will be the best platform so that we can make our pupils understand every walks of life when it comes to literature. Mm -hmm. And last but not least is literature in action contributes self-understanding where it allows students to express their own views and that involves self-expression. 
All right. Mm -hmm. Now, let us go to the next one. Now, how are we going to conduct this, to instill, to inculcate this uh, values of loving the literature is by having poems, mm -hmm. perhaps uh, we can have song lyrics, like what we heard just now, the yes. beautiful number by Michael Jackson. Of course. And of course, from movie or stories, and of course, novel. Mm -hmm. So, Shafika, this literature in action is actually challenging, um, giving a challenge to their thinking process. Right. Yeah, having said that, they have their background knowledge of um, the language itself, mm -hmm. and they are able to go to the next level when it comes to giving response. All right, now let us look at the poetic terms that we are going to explore today. Mm -hmm. The fact that we have the Form 1 pupils back here. So let us just go for basic level, Shafika. All right. So the first word is persona, or what we call it as a writer, the person who writes the poem. Mm -hmm. Second one is stanza. Now they are more uh, familiar with paragraphs. So in poems, we have stanzas, or we can, know it, we can always call it as paragraph. Mm -hmm. Right. The next one is rhyme. Rhyme here means words with have um, similar sound, like um, sorrow and maybe fellow, or ah. maybe you can have like similar sound to it. Yellow. Yellow. Mm. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, figurative languages and as well as the team. So having said that, when the students are exposed to these poetic terms, they can always give response and interpret the poem itself beautifully and effectively. Ah. All right, so when we are able to um, inculcate all these elements uh, shown on the screen, now let us look at some examples. Mm -hmm. So this is one very simple example, clear cut, that we can see on the screen on this one beautiful poem entitled, What Can You Do? Now, having said that, pupils back there, let me just find out if you can still reach out what that I mentioned earlier mm -hmm. on stanzas, on persona, or maybe on the team itself from this poem. Okay, so can I have one person to tell me how many stanzas do you have in this poem? Anyone in the house All wants right. to give it a shot? Can Anyone? I raise your hand up? Madam, can I give it a try? That sounds like Faris. Okay, Faris, how many stanzas do you have here in this poem, Faris? Three, Madam. Yes, we have three stanzas. So look at it. We have stanza one, stanza two, and stanza three. Now mm -hmm. let's talk about the theme from this poem. Just look and just uh, give a glance and read quickly on the uh, three stanzas that you see on the screen. Now what can be the theme for this poem? Anyone wants to give it a shot? Anyone, what is the theme? Mm. Make a guest. Madam. Yes. Madam. Yes. Hafiz. Hafiz. Go ahead. Okay. Now, what is the theme? Environment. Correct. It's about environment where you can see rivers, forests, fresh air. Good job. And last but not least will be the rhyme. So let me just give you an example of the rhyme. The two examples from the first stanza: pollution and solution. Now, can you understand what rhyme means now? Now, let us look at the second stanza. Mm -hmm. Clean and green. And last but not least will be share and care. care. Ah. All right. So that would describe rhyme, stanza and team. All okay. right. Imagine. So I guess that's about it for mm -hmm. our first sharing on the poetic terms. Good job, guys. Ah. Let's cheer. Good, Good job. job. Good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, madam. <laughs> that was a great warm up and exercise for the types of literature involved. That was specifically poems. But we have more after this to discover. So stay tuned. We'll be right back here on Didit TV KPM. Press the buzzer. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> TV KPM. Press the buzzer. All right. Class is in session. We're back with Manengah Harenda with our topic for today, Bahasa Inggris, and we're about saving the earth. But before that, um, just now we've introduced a lot of um, uh, uh, poetic, terms. poetic terms that involves stanza, themes, 
rhyme. Yes, we have rhymes and also um, what was that about? Persona. Just not persona. Exactly. But now we want to focus on what the poem is actually about. Exactly. So do we have uh, the pupils? Um, can we have them recite the poem? Or exactly, we're yeah. gonna have some some of them to mm. recite the poem to right. see their pronunciation and clarity. Ah, <laughs> all right. Do we okay. start now? Yes. Okay, guys. So now let us look at the screen. Now we have our poem here, and let's explore more about the poetic terms that I've mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, Shafika, mm -hmm. we can never go away without mom, mix or match, where the idea generator allows students, pupils out there to understand better on what they are reading and what they are exploring, and it goes back to their ideas. Right. So this is about Save the Earth. Now, can I hear like any one of you who volunteers wish to recite the poem? Anyone in the house? Raise your hand Anyone? to be the first volunteer. Oh, uh, we have... Yes, Faris. Faris. So, hit it. Go. Let me just listen to your pronunciation and your clarity. Over to you, Faris. Mm -hmm. Aren't we destroying the earth? Aren't we destroying the earth? Why? Why are we destroying? God has given this gift. It's a supreme gift that we cannot ever get a gift. Major, can I continue? Wow. Okay, Hafiz, I love that energy. All right, continue, Hafiz. I was just about to focus, okay. So, so, we should look it. Please mm. are a precious spark, and water is part of life. Mm -hmm. mm. So we sh we should not be cutting tree down. Mm -hmm. Should we wash the water? Waste the Why water. Are... It's waste the water, Hafiz. Waste the water. Exactly. Why are we destroying the earth? Why? We are hurting the earth. All Stop. right. Stop. Okay, now let me hear it from Amira then. Mm -hmm. Let us be fair to others. Okay, Amira, over to you, Amira. Right. Madam, can I give a try? Yes, Amira, over to you. So we should not be cutting tree down. Mm -hmm. Should we waste the water? Why are we touching the earth? Why we are hurting the earth? Stop. All right, stop. Mm -hmm. Can I have Mia to continue, Mia? Yes. Over to you, Mia. The last one. All right, I think you should turn on your mic, uh, Mia. Okay, Mia. Stop. Stop. Okay. Hurting the earth. Mm -hmm. Save water and air free pollution. Be mm -hmm. in peace, always and also. Treat the earth with love and care. Good job. Mm, now, Shafika, lovely. can mm -hmm. you see the beauty of having this literature in action? Yes. Where we can actually test and improve our pupils' pronunciation. Mm -hmm. And one of them actually got the pronunciation wrong. But this is the beauty of exploring yes. literature in action. They All also right. have good intonations as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But you can always have room of improvements. Good job, girls and boys. Okay, so now, from the poem itself, mm -hmm. let us just explore more and go deeper in to actually um, evaluate the beauty of this poem. For the first question, who is the persona? If you remember, persona is the person who writes the poem. Mm -hmm. So anyone wish to give it a shot answering this simple, basic question? Anyone? Who is the persona? Yes. Can I answer? Yes, Hafiz. Okay, what is the answer for the very simple, clear-cut question, Hafiz? Mm -hmm. Bingo Tuari is persona of the poem. Exactly. Spot on. The writer of the poem was actually the one that you saw on the screen just now. Good job, Hafiz. Mm -hmm. Now, the second question. How many stanzas are there in this poem? Anyone? Anyone else? Anyone wants to give it a try? Okay. Right. Your mic. Mia, I cannot ah. hear. You have to unmute your microphone, Mia. Okay, how many stanzas do we have here, Mia? We have two stanzas in the poem, madam. Exactly, spot on. We have two stanzas, mm -hmm. one and two. Good job, dear. Now, the next one, moral values taken from this poem. Well, of course, they have to read this poem at least twice yes. so that they get to uh, have a get better the understanding. idea from the moral values. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, come. Anyone wants to share your moral values taken from the poem? Anyone? All right. 
right. Madam, can I give a try? Yes, Mira. What's your maybe first moral value, perhaps? The first moral value is stop the cutting trees. Stop cutting trees, mm -hmm. exactly. That was actually clear cut taken from the first stanza. Now, anyone wants to share me the second moral value that you can get from this poem? Anyone? Madam, Madam, can I ask them? Okay, yes, Hafiz. Hafiz. Okay, what's your answer, Hafiz? What's your second moral value? Save the water, exactly. Stop cutting trees and save yes. water. Now, now we have come to a little bit challenge question. Mm -hmm. It's a challenging question. We can call it as a kebat or high order thinking skills. Let us see, Shafika, how yes. a 13 year old child can give a piece of advice taken from this poem. Anyone <laughs> wants to take the challenge? Yes. I think it's only left with one. Faris. You are the only one left not answered. Okay. So can you give me your piece of advice, Paris? All right, Paris. In order to protect the earth, mm -hmm. I plan more trees. Plant more trees. Exactly. Yeah. Planting more trees is the best proactive action. Wow. Good choice. Okay. okay. So girls and boys and mm -hmm. Shatika. Now let us look at the colors all right now this will be in our next sharing mm -hmm. so that they can actually apply the colors with the poem that they have discussed earlier. All right, so madam. stay tuned. I am looking forward to that. That is called the MOM or MOM, but we'll be back for more of that. So stay tuned and we'll be right back here on DD TV KVM. Bye, see you when I see you. TV KPM. Hello, viewers. Pills, you're still tuned in to Didi TV KPM for our slot menengah rendah. And this segment for Bahasa Inggeris, we are going to be focusing on mix or match or mum. If you're familiar with Madam Faraliza's class, we use these colours to represent um, points that we can extract from uh, poems or literature um, samples, right, teacher? Exactly. Now, so how do we proceed with this class using mums, teacher? All mm. right, okay, let me proceed. Okay, let us look at the screen, guys. For this slot, we are going to inculcate and integrate the colours to understand better on the poem that we have learned earlier. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me uh, introduce or give you a very quick revision or to enlighten you and to refresh your previous knowledge on the colours. Now, we have mix or, mom, a mix or match that is from mum with six colours, which are going to generate your ideas, giving response to the poem that we have today. Mm -hmm. So we start with the first colour that is white. Now white basically uh, it tells you about true story and facts. The second one will be uh, yellow that will be positivity and advantages. Right? Now, let me just uh, bring you all these six colours. Mm -hmm. Now the second colour is yellow as I said. It can be advantages, it can be on the benefits, uh, positivity. Now black will be at disadvantages, negativity, challenges. Now Shafika, when you look at all these words mm -hmm. on the screen, right. now it basically um, exposes the students on the questions that will normally be asked, be it in class or maybe in their exam. Uh, examination question papers so everything comes from these colors if you mm. notice now the next color will be green that is to give suggestions or perhaps ideas from the poem that we are doing today mm -mm. and the next color is red is to share and to express your feelings on the tone of the poem mm. so that will be a little bit challenging but it's going to be fun last right. but not least will be blue color which is to encourage students giving their wish and to share what their hope is for our topic today mother nature okay all right so now let us look at the last box there every time you use green color please do not forget to bring in model verb so this will be the list of model verb where you can actually construct your sentence effectively mm -hmm. so now let's look at the 
screen and you can see that there, there is a spin wheel and we are going to have some like fun activity mm -hmm. after all you guys are 13 year old form one right yes. so let's have fun uh -huh. but at the same time mm -hmm. you must make sure you can answer well all right. right now let us look back at the poem mm -hmm. and let me move to this uh, activity here. platform here right. so that we get to Ask Shafika mm -hmm. to spin the wheel, I will. and when the uh, wheel stops at whatever colour, mm -hmm. then we shall have our pupils back here to give their response and to see how they interpret using the colours from the poem. So right. shall we begin? If you're ready, show me double thumbs up! Yes, and hopefully pupils at home, you're ready as well. <laughs> I'm going to spin this wheel. Okay. Shall I start? Yes. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, there you go. So it stops at red, red. colour. Mm -mm. So now anyone wants to give me a shot, sharing me your emotions mm -hmm. taken from this poem. Anyone, anyone with red colour? Raise anyone? your hand. Ah, there it is. We have Mia. Yes, Mia. So what's your colour? You're, you're having your red colour. So give me which stanza and tell me which line and give me the words, Mia. Over to you, Mia. From read from stanza two, stanza line two. nine. Line nine. Okay, so what are the words? Treat, treat the earth with love and care. Treat the earth with love because of the word love. So treat the earth mm -hmm. with, with love. love. So because of the word love, that has made Mia choose this line as your red color. Mm -hmm. Very good, Mia. Okay, spot on. So All this right. is the red colour, guys. You see, you just need to look for the keywords VAs. All right, now, okay. spin the wheel, Shafika. Let's have another round. Yes. Uh -huh. And we are stopping at <gasps> black. Black. Negativity. So black represents negativity, challenges mm -hmm. and issues. So anyone wants to give it a shot. All right, who's Black colour. Anyone? Come on, guys. Negativity. Uh -huh. Right. Yes, Faris, Faris, give me one of a black colour taken from the stanzas. Which stanza, Faris? From stanza one, line five. Stanza one, line five. Okay, what is it? We cannot ever get again. We cannot ever get again because of this negative statement. Mm -hmm. Cannot ever get again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you screw up, you pollute the environment, you will never get the fresh air anymore. Yes. Am I right, Faris? Good job, Faris. So this wow. is your black colour. So spin the wheel, Shafika. All right, next we have yellow. Yellow colour in the house. So yellow ah. represents positivity, positivity. advantages, benefit. Mm. Anyone taken from the poem? Okay. Oh. Hafiz. Can we Hafiz. Have Hafiz. Okay, Hafiz. Bring it on. Yes, of course. Hafiz. What is it? Which stanza? Four stanza. Four stanza one. Okay. Line four. Line four. What is it? Supreme gift. Supreme gift. So your VA will be is a supreme gift. Right? Doesn't it sound something positive when you get a special gift? From God, definitely. Mm -mm. So this is your yellow colour. All right. Let's go on. So go to the round. next colour, Shafika. Let's see what we have here. We have blue. <laughs> so what does blue colour represent? Blue mm. colour represents wish and hope. Perhaps mm -hmm. your conclusion of the whole poem. All right. So who can that be? Who okay. can that be? Is your hand up? Who's next blue to color. try? Wish and hope from Madam, the Madam, can I give a try? Yes, right, Mira. Mira. Over to you, Mira. Tell me which stanza and tell me the line. From stanza two, line eight. Line eight. And what are the words? Be in peace always and also. Yes, be in peace. It sounds like a wish to all. Mm -hmm. Be in peace. peace. All right, that's a good one. So doesn't it sound like an idea of a wish? Mm -hmm. Good job. That's a good blue indeed. All so right. let us proceed to the next colour then. Okay, we have well. a few more to go. So uh -huh. let's try for white. Uh, uh -huh. White, white colour. Mm. Now, what does white colour represent? 
white color represents true, true story. story and facts. Mm -mm. Anyone in the house wants to give it a shot? Right, white color it is. Another people would like a second go. Uh -huh. Who's next? Is that Faris? Yes, Faris. Okay, over to you, Faris. What's mm -hmm. your stanza and what are the words? Faris? From stanza one, line seven. Seven, what is it? Part. Exactly. Trees are precious part. Doesn't it sound factual? And isn't it a true story? Mm -hmm. Correct. So are, what is it? Are a precious, a precious part. part. Are a precious part. Mm -hmm. All right. So basically, Shafika, they yes. don't really have to write the subject because they only get the ideas mm -hmm. from the lines. Good job, Faris. Now, have right. we come to the last number perhaps yes we have the green color madam. all right so we don't all have right. to spin the wheel then uh-huh now what about green color anyone mm. wants to give it a shot green color represents suggestions and ideas, ideas. taken from the poem mm. give it a shot anyone who can that all be right okay mia yes mia so what which stanza mia unmute your microphone mia ah, yes we can't hear you Okay, one more time, yeah. From stanza one and two, oh. line six and one. Whoa, you have two stanzas. Wow. Okay, give me the first stanza then, yeah. From stanza one, line six. So okay. we show love it. Mm -hmm. Short, because of the word short. Good, so short, love it. Now, mm -hmm. this it here represents the gift given. Yes. That is your mother nature, earth. Mm. So that's the first green. What about the second green, Mia? From the second from stanza. Sta from stanza two, yep. line one. Okay. So we should not be cutting tree down. We should. All right. Pronunciation is a priority. We should not. Should not. What is it again? Be cutting. Be cutting tree. tree. So yeah. should not be tree down. cutting tree All right. down. So if you look at how I actually write all the VAs, mm -mm. so this is your verb and this is your A. So it is all about how you construct your sentence when you already have the ideas. So it's up to you to just give your response, but stick to the main idea taken from the poem. Mm -hmm. Good job, Mia! Wow, so all we've settled all right. the colours. Yes, mm -hmm. so let us cheer then. Cheer, cheer, good, good job. job. Good, good job. job. Good job, good job, good job, good job, wow. guys. So this is an example of all the colors covered, which represents, each represents an idea that you can make up into a sentence, right, madam? Exactly. And now for the second part of our activity, what will we be focusing on? All right. Mm -mm. Now, let us look at the screen and so that all viewers will actually get a clearer picture mm -hmm. on what the pupils did earlier. All right. So let us look at the... Um, screened and we actually have all the six colors which represent mom mix or match and these are the questions that I gave them earlier stanza which is paragraph and you could actually hear the pupils just now mm -hmm. they are they are able to manage to identify which stanza yes. stanza one stanza two and that's a good sign that's a good mm -hmm. sign people so you know which stanza and they know which line and they can give respond and that is what interpret interpretation Patient. means mm -hmm. all right so let us look at the next screen so as what our pupils back there earlier shared us so this will be the white color where it's true story so let us just look at the uh, slide here to get a clearer picture of what this mum how this mum helps you to give a better understanding mm -hmm. so white color true story is taken from the first stanza trees are precious parts so i have already written there on the whiteboard earlier mm -hmm. so we all have this and this is indeed a factual statement so the second one is water is part of life. So that can also be a true story. Well, basically, Shafika, yes. pupils, when they have already um, understood and fully mastered these colors, the floor is yours. Wow. You can reach the sky, start looking for more poems, and I'm sure you will be able to capture those colors, each line from yes. each stanza. Yes, All I right? believe so. Okay, now let's go to the next color. Mm -hmm. It will be black, that is challenges, problems, issues. So something negative, look at this line there. Cannot we ever get again? And of course, waste the water. So this has definitely um, given you an idea of 
torturing the earth, mm -hmm. which is negativity. Right. Now, the next color will be green, that is giving ideas. So, of course, you should always look for the lines with model verb. But, Shafika, yes. what happens if there is no model verb in the lines of any poems? Hmm, you cannot find But the they can colors. actually get the idea if they can um, interpret it as an idea or suggestions. Mm -hmm. So, it's their own Initiative. understanding. Ah. Uh, so, that's the beauty of having this literature in action. Right. It's on your own view mm -hmm. and you are free. And remember, it cultivates wisdom. It's how you look at it, all right? All right. Now, the second green colour will definitely come from the second stanza, that is, should not be cutting three downs. And look at the yellow, should not and should. Mm -hmm. Right. let's go to the next colour, that is yellow, giving you positivity and advantages. Now, the first stanza, something positive, supreme gift. And the second one would be safe water and free pollution air. Mm -hmm. So, this is actually taken from this yellow colour. So, girls and boys viewers out there, now let me just give you a very short uh, recap from these few colours that I've already mentioned. Mm -hmm. Now, it's your job to look for the colours when you do your reading, be it poem or perhaps any activities conducted by your school teachers. Right. All right, so now let's go to the next colour then. It will be red, it's about feelings. So let us look at the second stanza. Obviously, the word is peace. Doesn't that reflect your emotions of having that? peace and um, calmness mm -hmm. so that represents red color I see. and of course the last color would be blue that is your wish and your conclusion so how would you end and how would you like conclude after reading this one poem so definitely it comes from the second stanza treat the earth with love and care all right all right. So I think, girls and boys, mm -hmm. you can always make it a good start. And today will be the best turning point for everyone to start exploring more poems in the near future. Yes, and I believe as well they can start exploring this month, mix or match, exactly. to get a rough idea. It's a perfect guideline to get all the information you can from the poem because sometimes you see a jumbled up, you see all the words, you just get confused exactly. and lost. Exactly, but this Shafika. is a perfect start to get all the ideas out. It's exactly. a perfect guideline. Exactly, spot on. Well yes. said, Shafika. Uh -huh. You can try <laughs> it at home as well, pupils watching. Now we're going for a short break as usual and we'll be right back here on Didi TV KPM. Press the buzzer, Shafika! Yeah. <laughs> TV KPM. Hey everyone, we're still tuned in to Didi TV KPM, and for our slot morning Arenda today, we are learning Bahasa Inggris, and our topic is save the Earth. Uh, but for this <laughs> segment, we're going to be doing a bit of presentation, but I will leave that to Madam Farilisa to kick off the floor. All right, thank you, Shafika. Mm -mm. So we have now come to the next part of our activity, that is to explore another different angle, not any more poem, but let's go for song lyrics. Wow. All right. So from the song lyrics later, we are just going to see whether our pupils back here can actually interpret the same way like they did in the mm. first part earlier. Yeah. So before that, mm -hmm. let us enjoy singing this beautiful number, which I think is the best to present our mother nature. Yes. Let's so come to me, it. Shafika. Let's enjoy this number. Okay. <laughs> That's... There's a place in your heart And I know that it is love And this place, it was brighter than tomorrow Shafika! And if you really try You'll find there's no need to cry In this place, you'll feel there's no hurt or sorrow There are ways to get there If you care enough for the leaving 
a better place. Heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying. If you care enough for the living, make, make a better place for you and for me. To know why there is love that cannot lie. Love is strong, it only cares of joyful giving. Go! If we try, we shall see. In this place, we cannot feel. Fear of dread, we stop existing and start living. Hit it! Then it always loves enough for us growing. Make a better world. Say, make, make a, a better, better world. world. Let's go together, guys. The world. Make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying. If you care enough for the living, make a better place for you and for me. I just feel like this is not a classroom anymore. Yes. But forget about it. Now, did you enjoy every line of the song lyrics just now, guys? I definitely did. Yes. And teacher, that was another form of literature as well. Exactly. This mm -mm. is another different angle to explore more of the language itself. All so, right. girls and boys, viewers out there, mm -hmm. now what's next? Now, having said that, we are going to apply the same approach that we did earlier, but this time, let us see how our friends here are going to express how they interpret every line of the lyrics. Mm -hmm. But before that, Shafika, can I just proceed to the next part for All our right. next activity? Okay, madam, let's have All you on right. this side. Okay, so what are we going to have ah. now? I would definitely want Shafika mm -mm. to throw the dice. All right. And we are going to muff this. Mm -mm. And if this stops at whatever colour, now it's your part to share me your response and how you interpret from right. the song lyrics. Are you guys ready? If you're ready, show me double thumbs up. Okay, it's a game of snakes and ladders. Let's okay. throw this so dice, come. madam. Let's begin. Yes. One, two, three. Ah! Okay. What is it? What is that, pupils? We it's have number four. four. All right, so let's move four then. Mm -hmm. Let's count together. One, One two, two, three, four. four. It's two, three, yellow colour. All right. Okay, who so was that? So anyone wants to give it a shot? Yellow colour from this song lyrics, and who can that be? Anyone? Right. Somebody is ready. Who's that? Hello. Yes, who can that yeah, be? All right, okay. Is that Faris or Hafiz? Hafiz. Okay, Hafiz. So tell me, which stanza do you actually have nine, a yellow colour? Nine, nine, ten, mm -hmm. and eleven. Okay, so tell me, what are the words? Make a little space. Make, make a better place in the world. Make a little space, make a better... Please make a better world. Now, mm. that definitely indicates yellow colour. Good job, puppies. Okay, now, throw the dice. All right, next we have... Ha! Huh, it's three. three. So, let's go to three. I am getting One, small numbers two, here. One, two, three. And right, we're going to go up. Whoop, and it stops that red colour. So, what does red colour represent? Emotions and feelings. Mm. Anyone can actually capture the idea of emotions from this song lyrics. Anyone? Okay. Which part? Madam, can I answer? Yes, Mira. Mira. Now, which stanza, which line, and tell me the words which indicate red colour. Over to you, Mira. Line 18. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are the There's words? There's love that cannot lie. There is love that cannot lie. So it has undoubtedly expressed us on the emotions on love. Good job, Mira. Wow. And for the viewers out there, mm -hmm. you guys can always look at the song lyrics on your own later. Yes. Heal the world. All right? I bet a lot of people are going to listen to this song yes, afterwards. Yes, after this. Okay. okay. Let's, let's go to the, the next one. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's not All rolling right. so much. <laughs> okay. So five. it's five. So mm. let's move five then. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So it's blue colour. So blue colour represents wish and conclusion or your hope. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. So anyone in the house wish to give it a shot, tell me which line from the lyrics actually indicate blue colour. Anyone? Who's next? Can I give it a try? Yes, Faris. Right. My cutie pie, Faris. Mm -hmm. Tell me which line and what are the words? Line 41 mm. and line 43. Oh, you have two lines there, all right. Mm. What are those? Let our spirit never die. Let Create our world good. Here. All right, that's mm -hmm. good. Let our spirit never, never die. die. And that's a, a good idea of sharing your conclusion and your wish. Mm -hmm. Good job, young boy. Yes. Good. Well said. Good uh -huh. job, Har Faris. Okay. Okay. So now let us spin Throw. the last wheel perhaps All so right. that our students get a chance to answer. Okay. All right. Four. We have four. So let's go. One, two, two three, three, four. four. Should we spin nope. again? Yeah, we have to spin again All because right. it stops at the same color. Ha. So what is that? Here. <laughs> Number six. six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's the same nope. color. We have to go to the next one. We have to stop to the next color. Okay, so. let's go for... Yeah, two. Two. <laughs> so, one, two. Mm. It's blue. So, we have already had blue colour. Mm -hmm. We already had yellow colour. We already had... Uh-huh. What are the colours that we had just now? We had yellow, red and blue. Yes. So, let's go for another round. Let's go for four. All right. Uh -huh. So, one, one two, two, three, four. four. And right. it's a green colour. So green colour indicates ideas and suggestions. Mm. Anyone wish to give it a shot? Which lyrics and which line from the song lyrics that indicate green colour? Anyone? All right. Madam, can I give a try? Yes, Mia. So which line and what are the words that made you choose that as your green colour, Mia? Line 5 and line 14. Okay. Line 5 and line 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What are the words? Yo, Finn, there, there's no need to cry. Mm -hmm. All right. That's good. And, and we could fly so high. All right, we could fly so high. Mm -hmm. All right, because of the word cult, Shafika. Yes. And also because of the word will. Mm -mm. Good job. So listen up, guys. When you are able to capture the model verb, that is where the green color comes in. Mm -hmm. Good job, Mia. All Good right. job. Good 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 job. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That so was great. have we had all the colours in? We had we green. Ha mm -hmm. We had yellow. We had, we had red. Red. We had, we had blue. blue. We didn't get white okay, yet. Okay. Perhaps we don't have to throw the dice. Mm -mm. Anyone wants to give it a shot on white colour? True story taken from the song lyrics. Anyone? Madam, can I give it a try? Yes, Faris. Now, which line? And what are the words that make you choose that as your white colour, Faris? Mm -hmm. Line 7 and line 42. Line 7 and line 42. Uh -huh. So what can it be? True story. There are ways to get there. Mm -hmm. There are ways to get there. Ways here meaning, Shafika, there's always means of ways on protect the mother nature mm -hmm. right? there are many ways out there right now when you as a student definitely we can always create that awareness among ourselves that's good mm -hmm. so what is your next line Faris indicate white color Faris in my heart I feel you are all my brother oh okay ah. so in my heart I think uh, he was focusing on this one uh, mm -hmm. You are all my brothers, okay? Uh -huh. So that would be a true story. In my heart, I feel you are all my brothers. Yes. Right. Brothers here means we are all one whole Human big race. family. Yes. yes. And we should always stay connected and stay unity so that we can protect the mother nature for the next generation. Ah. All right. Having said that, girls and boys, mm -hmm. do you notice that you actually applied the colours to explore and to understand better on the song lyrics? Mm -hmm. Got it? Yes. yes. Well, Shafika, pupils out there mm -hmm. should now begin to listen to more song lyrics mm -hmm. because that definitely is taken from your literature in action mm -hmm. and you don't have to wait for your teachers to do it in school. You can have it on your own. It can be other languages besides English right. because you know how to interpret better. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the choice of songs you use is important as well. Exactly. It has to be those with meaningful exactly. lyrics. Exactly. Um, exactly. And so, not just songs, we have movies as well that we can refer to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, Shafika, yes. this reminds me of my um, previous experience with my students, mm -hmm. where actually they could come up with a board game uh -huh. taken from a novel. Wow. So the beauty of it is when they could actually interpret well on the whole picture of that novel, mm -hmm. it can be interpreted into a board game. Wow, amazing. And the sky is the limit. So girls, boys, viewers out there, what are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Start listening to good songs, lyrics. Yes. All right? And okay. it's not, just not about understanding it. It's also about creating creativity as well. Exactly. That. Shafika, now, yes. what is your favorite English song so far? Favorite it can be on English any. Song. It can be on any team. Doesn't matter. What's your favorite English song? I love Whitney Houston's. Um, all I, I have nothing. I have because nothing because it shows that she has everything. Exactly. <laughs> the opposite. And guys, having said that, mm -hmm. go for Whitney Houston. I have nothing and try to explore colors in it. The more colours that you can explore, mm -hmm. now this gives a very good sign, which means you have finally right. mastered halfway mm -hmm. to literature in action. Yes, I believe so as well. Now, Madam, uh, perhaps an overall conclusion for our whole class today. Can we have that from you? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, having said that, after what we have seen to our pupils back here, they were able to interpret the colours from the poems and from the song lyrics. And I think, let us hear from our students and pupils back here on what the learning points that they have gained for today. All right. So, can anyone share me your learning points mm -mm. for Can what we, we have, have done today's activity one representative mm -hmm. who would like to represent the whole class what have you learned maybe one perhaps madam can i share wow. okay faris share me what have you learned today faris very proactive mm -hmm. today i learned how to represent things with color Exactly. You learn how to represent or to respond using colors. Perhaps one more. Anyone wants to share your yes, learning points very today? Very quickly and briefly. Very quickly, briefly. Who's next? Come on, who's next? Is that Hafiz, I see? Hello? Okay. Yes. Okay, Hafiz, bring it on. Can what I have share? you learned today? Yes, of course you can share, Hafiz. Over to you. Today, I learned what is stanza, right and rhyme. Good. You have learned what is stanza, Team and also rhyme. Mm -hmm. Correct. Great. So, having said that, yes. Shafika. We have come to the end of our class, but before we end, of course, the pupils are waiting to hear this. What is the overall marks or performance of our pupils online today? You guys were awesome, fabulous, amazing, <laughs> and I'm sure in the near future, you'll be the future song lyrics lyricist or you can also write your own poem perhaps about me one day wow or song interpreters wow <laughs> all inshallah, right inshallah. thank you for that madam right. and of course for students who are trying to find sources online trying to do revisions where can they access they can definitely assess on Portal de Lima, guys. All right, and there you have it. And this moment I've been waiting for, we're going to play a short game for our ending. It so me to stay be here. tuned. Don't go anywhere yet. We'll be right back with this game. And until then, we'll meet again someday. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Bye. All right. Teacher, let's go. Okay, now you throw, let me throw this. Okay. <gasps> wow. It's, it's three. So let's move it to here. Okay. It's black color goes to red. So oh. it must be. Oh, that would be an anger, perhaps, for being too depressed and overwhelmed with the situation that we have today. Oh, we need to talk about Mother Nature. Oh, I am. I feel anger too. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, let's have another round. Wow, we're very active today. What is that? It's one. Okay. It's one. Great. Ah, great. So what can be your ideal suggestions? I would love...